Good morning, church. This is your monthly mission moment where you learn how God is using Porterfield to further His kingdom mission locally and globally. First, Porterfield will be serving more frequently at Belpre Area Ministries. If anyone would like to help serve, please contact Carol Gandy. Operation Christmas Child is looking for new team members. If you would like to learn about the area team's role and service opportunities, there will be a one-day Connect watch party at 9 a.m. on April 20th at Emmanuel Baptist Church. Volunteers from all over the U.S. will gather to worship. Through biblical teaching and powerful testimonies, you'll see how God is moving all around the world through Operation Christmas Child. For more information, contact Wayne Bernoski. Our Embrace Grace leaders want to extend a huge thank you to the church for supporting our most recent Brave Girl. Your generosity overwhelmed her and her family. We praise God that she has come to know Jesus as her Savior and that God has given Porterfield the opportunity to love her and continue leading her into a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. Across the globe, our missionaries are doing amazing things for the Lord. Elise Spencer shared a story of how she was able to reconnect with a young lady she met a few months ago. This girl has a hard time meeting with Elise because her parents are strict, but God's purposes will always prevail. Elise providentially ran into her and was able to connect for several hours. This girl was able to see a full Bible, having the Old Testament and New Testament, because she only had a copy with the New Testament Psalms and Proverbs. Elise was able to walk this girl through the Bible, answer questions, and even download the Bible app on her phone until they could meet again. This follow-up meeting brought hunger and excitement and the gift of a physical Bible with every book. Please pray for Elise as she continues to minister to this girl and others in her context. We praise God this week as we hear about God's work in Kenya's life in Nicaragua. Noemi remembers holding Kenya's hand as a little girl on her way to the feeding center in Cerro Verde. Kenya started at the feeding center, resided in the girl's home, did her chores, and was dedicated to her education. Kenya would start her elementary school days at 4 a.m., making the one hour walk to school and complete her studies underneath a tree. She excelled in high school without internet and great financial hardship, but sustained by God's grace. Kenya now serves as a nurse in Baba Noemi's Love in Action Clinic. Praise God for how he has used Baba Noemi to bring life change to Kenya. I close with a prayer request. Anne and Bill Klimmer need our prayers. The M23 rebels are active and pressing in on nearby villages. This is sending hundreds of thousands of people into Goma, half of which are children. Bomb attacks have hit the Goma airport and university. Despite the crisis, Anne and Bill continue to serve where needs are significant. Please pray for their protection and provision during this trying time.